So far, when we've been looking at the unique function, we've been using data in just one column. So we've been extracting the country, for example. Now, in this lesson, I just want to show you how easy it is if you want to extract multiple columns. So you can see here we have a table, we have the country, the population and the region. And I want to basically do the same thing. I want to extract a distinct and a unique list, but I want it to return three columns instead of one. So we're going to start this process off in exactly the same way. I'm going to put my data into a table, control T. Let's click on OK. And again, I'm just going to say no table style. And let's give our table a name. I'm going to call this CTY underscore pop underscore reg and hit enter. So now if we go over to here, we pretty much do exactly the same thing as we have been doing. We type in unique our array. Well, I want to return everything in this table. So I would just need to select all of the data and you can see it automatically picks up my table name city pop reg. If I just wanted to extract the first two columns, I would just select the first two columns as my array comma. Let's move on. What do we want to return? Well, we're returning unique rows comma. Do we want to return a distinct list or a unique list? Now I want to return a distinct list in this instance. So we want a false on the end there. Close the bracket, hit enter, and that's exactly what we're going to get. And because we put this in a table again, if we try and add another country in, so let's just use our favorite Spain over here. And you can see that that's going to update. Now we have zeros in there because I haven't filled out the rest. And let's just take a quick look at what we get if we change this last argument. So remember, you can't edit a formula from any cell other than the one you originally typed it into. And in the formula bar, I'm just going to change this from false to true to return items that appear exactly once. So when we hit enter, that's exactly what we get. So super simple to incorporate multiple columns when you're using unique. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.